Hello everyone and welcome back to another Python voice assistant tutorial. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is fixing a few bugs that have occurred from previous videos as well as adding a wake word to our assistant. Now this might be split into two parts depending on how long this takes me, but what we're going to be doing is making it so that we can say something like, hey Tim, or hey Google, or hey bot, or whatever we want. And that will trigger the voice assistant to actually start listening um, for the command. So we'll always be listening, but it will only be listening for commands after we have that wake word, which is what you guys were suggesting to me. Now, before we move too far, let's fix a few bugs. So the first thing that I want to do is just go up into get audio here. And this is what you guys have recommended. And I don't know why I didn't do this to start when we returned said here, I'm just going to return said dot lower uh, because that's going to make it so we don't have to keep calling dot lower every time we want to get the the value of text because we don't really care about the capitals at all. So what I'm going to do now is just get rid of wherever I've put dot lower. So like get audio dot lower. I don't don't need that. Get audio dot lower. Pretty much anywhere we have dot lower, we don't need that anymore because we've just fixed that and saved us a bit of time. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go into this get events function and change a bug that actually our friend here Doug pointed out to me in one of the comment sections. Some of you guys have pointed some out as well, but this one seems significant to me, so that's why I'm kind of shouting him out here. He was saying essentially that if our event falls in the afternoon, the way that I've programmed get events is it will actually cut off the um, like the half an hour point if it starts at that time. So if it doesn't fall directly on the hour and it starts at, you know, 1230 or 1.30 or something like that, it won't say the 30 aspect. So we need to include that. So to do that, we're just going to take this line here. So plus start underscore time dot split at colon one and add that to the end of right here. So inside this for loop, inside this else, and this first line here, I'm gonna add that line. So plus start time dot split colon at one. Now the reason this is happening is because I was just taking the hour aspect. I wasn't taking the minute aspect, which I need. So this will add the minute aspect to that and that should be good for us now. Um, at least I've tested this and it did work. So I'm hoping that this will be fine the way that we have it now. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's just do a quick test here um, and see if this is actually working. So I'm just going to run this. What do I have on Wednesday? You have, you have three, three events, events on this day. CEG 2136 lecture at 8.30 a.m. SIG 2105 lecture at 1 p.m. CSI 2110 tutorial at 2.30 p.m. Okay, so there we got that now 2.30 p.m. So that is working and we are all good to go. All right, so now that we've done that, what I'm going to do is include this wake keyword. So I'm going to start by just creating a variable here at the bottom called wake word or like wake. Actually, I'll just say, what am I saying? Not wake, not weak, wake equals. And then we're going to put the string that we want to wake up with here in lowercase. So in this case, I'm just going to make mine, hey, Tim. So if you say, hey, Tim, then we'll be good to go and we will wake up. So what are we going to do now to get this working? Well, we need to essentially put all of this inside of a while loop and start doing kind of it's slightly complex, but we just need to always be listening, see if we ever say, hey, Tim, and if we do alert the user and then start looking through their next command for any of this. So like write something down or asking about the events that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a while loop here and I'll say while true like that. And I'll take all this and indent that. Now, what I'm going to do is keep text equals uh, get underscore audio, but I'm going to just do an if statement here and say if text dot count wake greater than one, then what we'll do is we'll do all of this. Now, I'm also just going to say speak. I am ready. And then what I'm going to do is say text equals get underscore audio one more time. Now, let me explain how this is going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to be constantly listening. So always listening in this while loop. Now, as soon as this picks up some kind of text, so this get audio function, which is all the way up here, it will return that to text. And then what we're going to do is check if we said, hey, Tim. Now, if we said, hey, Tim, anywhere in that kind of blob of text that we got there, what we'll do is we'll say, tell the assistant to say, I am ready. After it says I'm ready, it will wait for another command because so think about it like this, right? Like we're talking, maybe having having a conversation. Then all of a sudden I say, hey, Tim, we wait a second and then it says I am ready. You're like, OK, and then you say, what do I have on Wednesday? And then it takes this text and it will process any command based off of that. Now, I'm just going to make one slight change here in this speak function. So it says speak. Please try again inside of for phrase. What I'm going to do is just change this to I didn't um, or I don't understand rather than try again, because saying try again will prompt the user to want to just say the command again, rather than start with, Hey Tim, 
uh, which is not exactly what we want. So anyways, I think this should be okay for now to start testing with. There might be a few things I need to change after this. Um, let me just look on my other screen to make sure I didn't make an error. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do is just add another text, uh, another print statement in here just says listening so that we know every time that this runs and we get an idea of kind of how this is working. So what I'm gonna do is bring this up here and run this and then see if this is working for us. Okay, so it started, we're listening. You can hear that I'm talking here and nothing's happening with the uh, with the voice. I'm just gonna turn my volume up so you guys can hear. Okay, so I just ran this and realized I made a critical error here. Instead of saying greater than one, I need to say greater than zero. Otherwise, that's like never gonna work unless you say, hey, Tim, twice. Um, I'm sure you guys probably caught that, but anyways, let's just change that. Let's run it again. You can see this is what happened last time. Uh, okay, so I need to run this. Okay, so we're just talking here, pretend we're having a conversation. All of a sudden I say, hey, Tim. I am, I am ready. ready. Okay, it says I'm ready. What do I have on Tuesday? You have, you have four events on this day. day. CSI, CSI 2110 20 lecture at 10 a.m. CSI, CSI 2110 20 lab at 1 p.m. SIG 2105 lab at 5.30 p.m. ADM 1540 lecture at 7 p.m. And there we go. And now it's listening again. And wait, ready? Hey, Tim. I am, I am ready. ready. Make a note. What, what would you like, like me to write down? down? Remember this. I've made, I've made a note of that. that. And there we go. And now I can continue talking like I normally would as if we're doing the tutorial here. And at any point if I say, hey, Tim. I am, I am ready. ready. Make a note. What would you, would like, you like me to write down? down? Tim. I've made, I've made a note of that. And there we go. Now, I guess it didn't actually get what I said there. Uh, but anyways, you guys can see kind of how this works. So it's always listening. It waits for that wake word. And yes, it does take a second to detect the Hey Tim. I don't really know a way around doing that and changing that. I'm going to look at that and see if I can maybe fix that in the next video and give like some tweaks to how all of this works. But I think that that's pretty good. Um, it's working pretty well now. And I mean, you get the idea, right? We're always listening waits for the wake word. If you do a long enough pause between the wake word, then it will say, okay, I'm ready or say whatever we have here. It'll get the audio again, and then it will actually do all of the commands. So that is kind of how this works. Again, all this code will be available in the text-based tutorial whenever that does come out. And with that being said, as always, if you have more ideas for this series, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to try to include that in future videos. So with that being said, if you guys enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in more videos.